All right, finally, we're going to be removing AV Defender 2011. And this one is probably the toughest rogue anyone has had to remove. And it's, and luckily, I've gotten it simplified down to three steps, and you only need to reboot at the very, very end. So the first thing you're going to notice with this is that you can't run any programs. You try to run a different web browser, you're going to get this application is crashed because of configure. You try to open up anything, it's going to do that. Let's see. Even, even simple stuff like calculator is apparently infected. But the one executable that does run, and it confirmed runs, is Internet Explorer, specifically iExplorer.exe. This thing's just going to keep popping up anyway. So go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. And we're going to, obviously, we're going to need something to kill this process, because if we don't, we don't have a chance in hell in removing it. So just go ahead and dismiss any of those alerts. We're going to download Process Explorer. And Process Explorer is basically Task Manager on steroids. So just go to live.sysinternals.com. You're going to want to scroll down to the Process Explorer executable, which is procexp.exe. If you don't feel like typing that, I got a link in the description. So save it as iExplorer.exe. It will save the file. Go ahead and run it. Accept the license agreement. And scroll down to the bottom. You're going to see this random name process with the, uh, with the fake Norton icon. So just go ahead to the top of the tree, right click, select kill process tree, and click OK. That will effectively kill the rogue for now and will allow you to run programs. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is fix the registry, because this thing has uh, literally set itself as the Windows shell. Normally the shell is explorer.exe, this thing set itself as the shell, which is pretty impressive. But it's easy to fix, and if you want to do it in, from the registry, registry editor, you can go to start run, or Windows key R, and type in reg edit. Now you're going to want to go to H key local machine, software, Microsoft, scroll down, Windows NT, current version, scroll down again to win login and click it. Now on the right side you're going to want to scroll down to the shell key, right click and select modify. You're going to see that this thing is set itself as the Windows shell and we can fix that. So all we have to do is clear all of that out and type in explorer.exe and click OK. And that will fix that problem. Now if you don't feel confident in editing the registry, I have made a quick and easy .reg file that all you have to do is run. So if you want to download that, open up your browser, go to malwareup.org slash tools. You're only going to see one tool for now. It's fix-shell.reg. So click it to download, save it to the desktop, close. You can run this, and it'll say, are you sure you want to add information? Click yes, and it will say that it has been successfully entered into the registry. And now to finish off, let's get malware bytes. And of course, link in the description if you don't feel like typing this out. Now you can go ahead and run the setup. Click run. Select your language and, you know, fill out your basic stuff for a setup wizard. Next, accept, next, 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 next. And of course, keep both of these checked. You want to update Malwarebytes and you want to launch it. So just click finish. 
this updater will come up and download the latest database of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Alright, now for previous users of Malwarebytes, you're going to want to go to the Update tab and click Check for Updates, just to make sure you have the latest database version. Click OK, go back to the scanner, make sure you're on Quick Scan, and click Scan. And of course this takes around 5 to 15 minutes, so come back in about 5 or 15 minutes. Okay, so my scan has just completed and it took nearly six minutes, so just click OK to this uh, message box and go down to Show Results. It's going to find all the files that Malwarebytes uh, detected. Go ahead and make sure they're all checked and click Remove Selected. It will go ahead and quarantine all of this and remove it. Get a log, you can dismiss it, and now it's going to ask you to restart. You can do it now, so just click Yes. And you really should give yourself a big congratulations, because you just removed this rogue. Now to finish up, you can go ahead and uh, delete the registry key if you want to. Go ahead and delete that. You can delete the Malwarebytes setup if you want to. And you might want to keep Process Explorer, just in case uh, if you want to end some processes or learn a little bit more about what's going on behind the scenes. And that is it for removing AV Defender 2011. Always remember to have uh, Windows up to date, make sure your antivirus program is on and updated, and thank you for watching.